There's only been like 14 yards gained in the second quarter against this defense. What has he instilled? Is it an empowerment? Is it strategy? What do you think Schwartz has really done to come in and make you guys such a dominant team? Man, it's both. I mean, he, com he comes in. It's, it's a mentality. You know, he's, uh, you know, we live by three things. It's, you know, it's passion, it's toughness, and that's that's effort. And then he, he bundles, you know, effort with swag. No, you, you got to go out there. You got to you got to love the game. You you want to let everyone know that you love the game. You no, know, you you celebrate the success, the success of not only yourself but your teammates. And uh, you no, know, he doesn't just give loaves. You know, if you're if you're dragging ass on a play, he gives loaves. If you don't, if you're not celebrating hard enough, not only not only if you make a play, but for your teammates, you now you, you better you know let the the crowd feel you, the opponent feel you, and uh, you no know, show appreciation for. It. You know every single play. As long as we make a, a big play, you know, let everybody know. And on the other side of it, you now he's putting guys in position to to make plays. Not just myself and you know, everybody up front, but you know putting those guys on the back end. You no, know, uh, and man more often than not, because you no know, they they want to be aggressive. They they want to you no know, lock up guys one on one. They 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 live for that challenge. And then letting those those linebackers come downhill. You know, we're we're penetrating and taking up you no know, double teams. They want he wants those linebackers flowing downhill and making plays in the backfield. Yeah, you got studs all over the place. And I appreciate the fact that Schwartz is giving out lows if you're not celebrating. So then you can just dance all over our faces in Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah. I mean, just all over our faces. Mm -hmm. Just dancing all do you heard the Miles Garrett chance, obviously, in our stadium. I I assume it happens everywhere else how long has that been happening and what the first time you heard it was it what was the feeling that you got but the first time i got it was uh that four and a half sack game i had against uh, the bears and out that i mean that was outstanding I was, I was already having a hell of a game but for them to you know start start doing the the chance was was awesome yeah it, it started to feel like i was I was somebody for a second. You know, I had to put the put the hand up. <laughs> Man, you had to play into it. I'm like, if, if I'm going to be the guy, let me play the character for a second. Yeah, what every day you feel good? You ever wake up on a Sunday and maybe the body? So it says you're six four two seventy. Is that accurate? Well, my ID says I'm six six, so I'm somewhere in the middle. <laughs> well, the NFL tries its best to make everybody look as small as possible, even though every other league tries to make everybody as big as possible. So two seventy though is the accurate weight. Somewhere around there. I, I'm probably a little bit lighter these days, but yeah. Okay, so we see you dunking, we see you running, we see how low you can get in your bend. Do you ever get sore? Like your body, your, your body just seems to be different than everybody else's. Is there days where you wake up and you're like, you know what? I can't do a 75 inch box jump today. Like, or is it every single day you're able to just go crush? Uh, I don't want to you know, sound like. Yeah, uh, do, it. do it. Like. I want to sound arrogant. That's what I would say. But nah, dude. Yeah, I, I wake up every day and I, I just don't feel like sore. Like after games, like that that evening, it's like man, I might have some bumps and bruises. But the next day, I'm usually I'm, I'm good. Like I'm ready to go work out. That's fun. That would be so much fun. Sounds fun. I took a dump two days ago. My leg, my hammies. <laughs> Cramped up? Cramped sore. You know what I mean? Like, that's where I'm at. So good luck with retirement, even though I think we're going to be a little bit different as we go. What is the workout routine? Because there's those photos on the internet mm -hmm. of you just like, you know, you know, oiled up. Mm -hmm. Absurd. And then you're just, yeah. What do we do? Is it an everyday thing? Or are you strict? What about the diet? How long have you been doing it all? Tell me how I can look like you. That'd be cool. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I have a personal chef that I have a routine with every single day. Uh, work out pretty much almost every day. I mean, Monday, get a workout in. Tuesday, get a stress routine in, get treatment. Wednesday, get a workout in. Thursday, small workout, stress routine. Uh, Friday, workout in, treatment. Saturday, um, stress routine. And then Sunday, play the game. Yeah, but what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that every day? That was, that was like a, a an off day. I was oh, I had to find okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. I had to I had to find a gym, and I was like, man, let me let's just you no know, go get something in. And it wasn't it wasn't planned. And I was like, all right, you no, know, I feel like hitting this today. And it was like this turned into a, like a full body thing. And then hit the sauna, came out, and my boy was like, hey, it's, you know. Let, let me let me get a picture real quick. They got to they got to show the people you're you're always working. I was like, all right, sure. I guess. Right, me, <laughs> Whatever. I guess is what we're going to have to do. Think about tackles around the NFL, left and right tackles. 
Just their friend showed them that photo the night before mm -hmm. a game. Hey, this is the human coming into town tomorrow. Oh, Just a little bit of a heads up. That's awesome. You instill that fear, and the way you play is fun to watch. I also appreciate the fact you're repping Municipal there across the hat in the hoodie. Shout out to Mark Wahlberg. Also, shout out to these Hell shoes. Yeah. Look, you got a, we got a box. Look at these shoes. Huh? These yeah. shoes. Pretty good. Huh, Miles? Right there. Pretty, pretty damn company, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Real quick. I got a pair as well. They're all white. The Whew. comfort in the the I don't want to the mm, the fit not, the the comfort and like uh, feels like they're nicer shoes. Yes, and they look like very good shoes. Are those yours? Did you design them? How? What's the tie-in with Municipal? Uh, Mark had those. You no, know, those are the, the origins. But uh, I had a relationship with Mark for a while, and you know, aligned and you know what we wanted to to accomplish in that in that market. You know. Want to, want to do big things together. And so it's just a matter of, you know, how how we wanted to do things. So it's like, you know, I wanted to have my my own shoe, wanted to you know, work with athleisure because that's kind of you know, where I, I wear on the daily. And so it was a no brainer as far as, you know, two people who wanted to to you know, carve a different lane for this for this industry. You're a fashion guy, always been a fashion guy. Yeah. We see it Halloween. I, looking absurd. I had no fashion until I got to the NFL. Well, you got money. That's what happened. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's that's what happened. You gotta get into it a little bit. I have to save my pennies for food. I wasn't worried about looking the best back in the day. Oh, you look like trash. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. Had to eat lunch today. <laughs> you know, so I appreciate what you're up to. Uh, we're proud of you, man. Hell Keep yeah. growing. Keep growing the business brand. And obviously, everything you're doing on the field is awesome. Speaking of that, Tone has a question for you, Miles. Miles, I was I was Seeing if you were aware that there is a daily argument on Twitter or X about you and TJ Watt and who is better between Steelers and Browns fans. Do you know that that's always going on? Do you have a relationship with TJ since you're in the division? And is any extra motivation since you guys are in the division and you guys are always up for defensive MVP? Uh, I, I've definitely heard the debate. Uh, now, whether... I, I care, not really. I, th I think uh, TJ is a, a hell of a player, and I think he's uh, he's fun to watch. Now, I have a lot of respect for for decent defensive guys. I don't care if he's in my division or not. But uh, as far as like you know, healthy competition, I, I, I mean, I love it. You know, he's you know, right in our backyard. You know, our, our teams have history. We're all our defensive ball, so you know, a matter of you know us us going at each other. It's nothing personal, but yeah, I think uh, we both know that you know the others on the opposite side of the field and want to want to excel when when you know, we we match up. Yeah, people that are competitive are going to want to do that. Right now, the AFC North, by the way, I think if it was to end, all four teams would end up in the playoffs. So it's hot in the kitchen up there. You guys are going to beat the hell out of each other as the rest of the season goes. Classic AFC North. Speaking of beating the hell out of each other, it feels like defenses are having their way. This year, I know you guys are playing the best defensive football you've played in a long time under that Schwartz defense. Do you recognize that? Do we think, like, offenses aren't as good as they were in years past, or do you think defenses have gotten better, Miles? I think defenses are, are catching up. You know, they're they're letting them get away with so much, you know, as far as, like, the, the rules. So, defense is finding a way to, you know, to – to even things up and whether that's scheme or guys can getting better or learning more, adjusting. Um, I, I think, you know, we're, we're finding found this, uh, this power balance. Dude, the primetime game, the primetime unders. Under. What's the stat on the primetime games unders? 22 and 7. 22 and 7 to the under. That means, like, what the offense is supposed to do, obviously. You're not gambling. We're just giving you a heads up. Nobody's doing. Like, it is under, under, under. And it's, I'm going to tell you, Watching you guys dominate in person was cool. But watching offenses just fail, 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 fail. Not good for the league, but also not your problem. You don't need to deal with that <laughs> yeah. at all. Darius has a question for you, Miles. Yeah, Miles, uh, obviously you're a game record, so teams' offenses are going to be keyed in on you. But crowds are too, and it seems like you've been playing to the crowd more and more. Do you prefer playing to your home crowd or kind of being on the road in a hostile environment? I love playing on the road, man. No, there's there's nothing better than you know oh. sixty thousand going dead ass silent after you make a <laughs> outstanding play, and then, and then you 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 know you you egg them on a little bit, yeah, you and know this one. yeah, yeah you, you give them you know, a little something to remember, and that that's how that's how you no know, legends are made, man. That's how that's how teams are remembered. You literally were doing this 
Like, 40 <laughs> yards, you were just doing this. And then all the Browns fans were going bananas. It was wild. It yeah. was wild. You took over that game. You completely took over there. Yeah. And just walked all the way to the sideline like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All the way to the sideline like that. It was. Ruined our jerseys. Yeah, it did. It ruined our Indiana Knights jerseys. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We had special jerseys on, Miles. And you do that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we had special, Those were special jerseys. Huh? Those were special jerseys? Yeah, exactly. Well, they were ugly, but they were special. Miles? Miles? This is my special jersey now. <laughs> you, you remember those jerseys from me now. That's true. What's your problem? <laughs> it was a good day. And now they're called Indiana Knights jerseys, and it was a one o'clock game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's because we got no primetime games sure. all season. Oh. Not, not a single one. <laughs> so I don't know why they picked you guys to showcase these games, but it was a great game. It was a great game, and you ruined it. You absolutely ruined it. What a night. What a day. It was an honor to watch you play, to be honest with you. Ty has a question for you, Miles. Yeah, Miles, just curious. Pat mentioned it earlier. You know, we've seen the basketball highlights. Are the Browns ever like, hey, listen, we understand you're a beast out there, but you got to stop playing basketball. I mean, you showed up with the Cavs at Summer League. We've seen you, you know, yoking on people at what LA Fitness or whatever. Like, is there ever a thought that they're like, hey, we understand that these clips are incredible. We love watching you play basketball, but the last thing we need is you turning an ankle or dunking on some guy <laughs> and then having some guy, you know, try to take your legs out from yep. underneath. Gary you. V. Exactly. Bingo. After you embarrass him, are they pretty okay with you going out there embarrassing people on the basketball court? I'd say they're pretty okay. Um, they know I'm not going to, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to hoop with anybody who, who would think of taking me out. No, I, I usually, I'll get a, a good group of guys, whether you know it's uh, you know, people I already already know or you know, semi pros or pros. So I, I'm usually in like a, a good circle of of men, and we can get some some good hooping in, and nothing nothing crazy is gonna go on. So whenever there's like in those pickup games, you're just picking guys, you know, and who you're gonna guard. I do a full. Hey, we going in the paint? No, nope. sweet. All right, so we're going three point line, three point line. You and me all day. Has there? I assume when you show up at these things, and then in warm-ups you're doing this. In warm-ups you do this, just right here. How you doing, 270? Hi! Oh. No problem. Looking the way you look. Off. Tough, tough to find guys that, to play with, to play basketball alongside. Is that probably a little bit of an issue? I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing with you ever. Just want to let you know that. You got you to try and find those, those college guys, those young college hoopers, you know, young semi-pro guys. You know, they, they run uh, – you got some former pros who play on Miami who, who can still ball.